All right, we're on. Ooh, whoa. He's trying to, no, 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 no. Ah. Oh, big day. So we gotta go get some bait and then we gotta drive a long way to get out to a river I wanna fish. But uh, right away there's some grass carp down there and a bunch of mullet. So let's try to see if we can snag a couple of them. Finally, that should be the throw. That should be the throw. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. That'll do it. Oh, one got out. <laughs> oh. At least we got a good bag there. Oh, I hate getting in this water, but It'll be worth it if we can turn this into something, you know, in the neighborhood of 100 pounds. Got our bait. Gonna cross the street now. And a long drive out to the river. We have fishing hasn't even started yet. Fishing hasn't even started yet. That's going out. All right. Second bait going out, guys. We've got a bait in one eddy, and I'm putting a bait over here in a different one, so. Our bait's out there. It looks like it's settled nicely, which is good. I was afraid it was gonna get washed down to the bank. And you can catch fish like that, don't get me wrong. But I really wanted it to be right on the current line. So the current actually flows this way. And the back eddy is going the opposite way. And I want this one kind of like right, sandwiched right between the meat of the each side of the current. So right there is good. Oh. Float went under. The float went under. Could be a turtle. It's not really. Oh, there it goes. I was going to say it's not really moving, but now it is. It's always hard to tell. In these river systems, you get a lot of soft shell turtles, and they will run a long way with that bait, just like a gar would. You tend to hang out in the same areas. Okay, we're on to something. It's coming very, very easily back in towards us, so fish either did a, an about face or it's a turtle or it could just be a small fish but it's not this is not a big animal Let's see what we got here my money is on soft shell oh. yeah I think I think a soft shell turtle yeah damn well
that's uh, the risk you take when you're doing this kind of fishing. Quite often it's one of these guys. The good thing is they are, generally speaking, hooked right through their skin. So they don't really take, put them on his back. With reptiles, I'm not, I'm not putting any weight on this turtle, by the way, guys. I'm, I'm doing a flamingo here. I'm just standing with my foot in the air, just kind of over him. Just want to hold him in position for a moment. I'm going to do the same thing with my knee. I'm going to put it over him, but I'm not putting weight on this turtle, so don't worry. I can, look, I can actually pick my knee up in the air from where I am. I just want to get an angle on that hook right there. There we go. Hooks out. Quite often. Oh, look at that. Look, he's missing a leg. He's missing a leg. Might have been taken off of him when he was young. That's crazy. Animals are resilient, man. It's incredible. Okay, there might be something on there. It's kind of hard to tell. Just feel the line, see what happens. It was running and it stopped. And I'm starting to take a look. Oh, yep, he's still there. There he goes. Damn, I've got one on the other one too. Shit. Hang on. I can only handle one of these at a time. I'm gonna go with this one because he's so close to that pillar. Ah, okay, fish off. We've been out here for most of the day now. I'm just trying to stay in the shade. I'm trying to keep the sun off my head. It's amazing how much of um, this type of fishing ultimately just comes down to uh, dealing with the heat when you're doing it in Texas. You know, it's in the 90s right now. Humidity is probably in the 80s or 90s too. It'll uh, it'll take you out if you're not careful. You know, sometimes the hardest days though crescendo with the best catches, and that's what I'm holding out for. This big snake, diamond-backed water snake. fish on something on it's a decent sized animal whatever this is ah oh, fish off you have got to be f kidding me and that was a heavy fish that was a big gar for sure i got the hook back and the hook was bent uh, so frustrating to be out here. Um, it's 5.15 and I've been fishing out here since uh, about 10 this morning and that's not including getting bait. I got bait before that. So we've been out here for a long time and it's just run after run. We've dropped the bait. We're running out of bait. I have almost nothing left. I've had break off after break off, turtle, small on the baits. I hit that fish, man, that fish hits so heavy. You can tell when it's a really good gar. When it gets to about 100 pounds, you can tell because either they bolt and they start peeling drag or you feel them like tighten down like no, like I'm not going that way and then they just sit. And you can feel, it's not a, like a inanimate object, you can feel that it's a living animal that just is trying to stay put and just the weight behind that fish i could feel him actually turn his head incredible this could be our second last chance okay whatever's on the end of this thing's moving does not mean it's the same fish 
or even a fish. But it is a bite and it did come in the same spot. And it is running at a decent speed. <gasps> oh, what what is happening? Oh no 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 no! Ah, oh, no no! Somehow the braid. Ah, oh, what happened to the braid? The braid is all cut up. <gasps> no! Oh no 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 no! What happened? It must have hit a rock. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! We oh you gotta be kidding me! There's a strip of braid in between me and the fish that is just chewed to pieces. 80 pound braid chewed to pieces is more like 20 or 30 pound braid. Oh man, it may not stand. It may not stand up to this. You got to be kidding me. Oh, we're gonna make the best of it. This is where I'm gonna have to really use some fishing smarts here if we, if we hook into a big fish. This fish turns out to be sizable and we hook him. It's going to be uh, interesting. All right, so this is going to be a make or break moment. All right, we're on. We're on a good fish. All right, I got to I got to fight this fish with a a light drag or we're never going to land it. Once we get over that set of braid with the cuts in it, I can tighten down. But at the moment, oh, he's a good sized fish. I see him out there. There he is, there he is, there he is. Yeah, 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 okay. Maybe I can just coax him into running along the bank. A lot of the times, if you can get him parallel to the bank, they'll, oof, they'll start swimming alongside it, even if it means they're coming your way. And he, he seems to think that he's, uh, yeah, he's coming our way. Please, ah, oh! he's still on. He's still on, okay, hang on. Take this opportunity to undo the rope. Come on. We're like a necklace. Just have it with me. I mean, we might have to follow him up the bank over that way. Okay, he's, he's right there. I still don't know how big he is yet. He feels like a good fish though. Come on, buddy. All right, there's the monofilament. Yeah, he's, he's decent. What do we got? Ooh, yep. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. It's amazing how deep it gets just right off the bat here. This drop off is shockingly deep. I'm having trouble getting the, whoa. All right, let's walk him that way. Okay, hang on a second. He's just trying to hang out right below us. We're gonna walk him. Man, he's heavy. We're gonna walk him over there, try to land him in that zone. Mm, no, you don't, buddy. He's right there somewhere. There, he's right there. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. Yeah, that's a nice one. Let's uh whoa. We can tighten this drag a little bit. It's amazing how you can just sink down. 
he just sinks down makes himself so much heavier he's still not ready to land yet I don't think <clears throat> A good sized animal yeah look at him beautiful fish beautiful fish I think he's about ready to land just, just got to figure out which way he's gonna be facing you always want the tag into your rope going towards their tail if you can if you can get him doing that let's try to bring him back come here buddy Oh, God. Ah! Burned my hand. Ah! That hurt. Oh, he's pulling straight down. He wants in those rocks. No, you do not. Look at the way he just sinks his body straight down. Oh. Thought he had me there for a minute. He went under a piece of rebar. Smart fish. God, these things are so intelligent. They know what they're doing. They really, really have a, a mind for beating fishermen at their own game. They really do. Some fish are better at it than others. An alligator gar are among the best. All right. It's hard with these rocks. Come here, buddy. Almost. 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 Uh. Uh. Look, he's trying to... No! 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 Uh. He's trying to dive under a railroad tie. Can you see that railroad tie? He's trying to dive under it. we got to pull him out the other way. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's a much bigger fish than I had uh, originally thought we hooked. Pale open. That is a very, very nice fish indeed. Absolutely love these animals so much. Love being able to show them to everyone at home that would never ever under most circumstances, be able to see one of these animals. Because that's the thing, you know, you can scuba dive or watch other people scuba dive for saltwater fish, but you really, uh, you can't see one of these. You can't, you can't see one of these unless you catch one, generally speaking. Let's get him back in the water. Gorgeous, gorgeous animal, big, huge fish. So odds are, the vast majority of people that will have a chance to appreciate one of these animals will be doing so on your end of the camera screen. Look at him. Just absolutely fantastic animal. What a gorgeous creature. I'm using the rope just to kind of keep a hold of it. I don't want him to kick off and then realize he's not ready yet. If this fish were to kick off and then suddenly, there we go, I felt him take a breath suddenly to you know turn sideways or float up to his stomach you can pull him back let him recover a little bit longer but this is what we do right here this is what we do I'm gonna let him decide or her decide when the fish is ready to go absolutely incredible oh yeah you see that you see that tail starting to move this fish is starting to give me the signals that it's ready it's kind of move it back and forth a little bit it's kind of hard to do you can't really open their mouth unless they want it open oh she's starting to kick good 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 I want to see one more yeah I see those bubbles coming out of her mouth that yes yes okay mouth starting to open I want her to recover. 
want her to recover. See how she's shifting side to side? That's her tail. She's not trying to roll side to side like that on her own. She's trying to she's trying to kick her tail so she can move away from us, but I've got her facing the wrong way. So you get that side to side action. Okay, I'm gonna take the rope off now. Just kind of keep a hold of her crocodile style. Crocodile style recovery. Just keeping her right here. I'm not keeping her mouth closed, by the way, guys. I've got one finger on each side of the jaw. If she wants to open her mouth, she can do it. I'll just pull my hand out of the way. What a gorgeous animal. Is she almost ready? She's thinking about it. She's thinking about it. We're gonna, we're gonna wait for her to be ready to go. I'm not gonna force her to go. There we go. You see her jaw open? Yes! Yes! That's what I want to see. I live for that. I live for that. <sighs> Amazing animal. Incredible. You know, oh, man. just the opportunity to share a creature like that with as many people as possible, you know, through the internet is just absolutely incredible. Something you couldn't have done, you know, 20 years ago. And even then, being able to share something through TV. You had to be a certain somebody with the right connections. Just the ability, the access the average person has to the, uh, the wild world now. Incredible ecosystems out there. Just the direct access you have to see what's out there is incredible. It's absolutely amazing. You know, it would be a disservice to, uh, it would be a disservice to human ingenuity if we didn't use technology to protect wildlife. It'd be a disservice to the wildlife and it'd be a disservice to the ingenuity that went into creating that technology with that capability. I am so glad we were able to get that fish on camera today.